Marion Wallace, or Marianne Wallace, is a Tory civilian and mother of Eli Wallace. Marianne worked as a nurse when Eli was 14. She was accidentally infected with HIV when she attempted to restrain a drug addict in the ER. She was pricked by a used needle and contracted the virus. Unfortunately, her husband couldn't deal with the issue and left her and Eli. She lost her medical coverage, and with Eli unemployed, she had to take a second job as a waitress to deal with the expenses. 2009. After Dr. Nicholas Rush recruited Eli into the Icarus Project, he assured him that the United States Air Force would take care of his mother's expenses. While flying to Icarus base in the George Hammond, Eli had a chance to talk to his mother, assuring her that he would be fine and that the Air Force would take care of her. Not knowing of the Stargates program's existence, she had no idea that Eli was stranded on Destiny. Sometime later, Eli used the long-range communication device to visit his mother in the body of Dr. Williams. Though given the authority, he did not reveal his true identity. Instead, passing himself off as Eli's friend with the pseudonym Philip Fry, a reference to the TV show Futurama. Unable to go into details, he assured her that Eli was fine and doing important work. Some time later, after not hearing from Eli for a long time, Marion began to give up her fight against HIV. As Eli had been her reason for living, she stopped taking her medicine and developed pneumonia, and her white cell count dropped enough that if she didn't get back on her medicine, her HIV would turn into full-blown AIDS. She was treated by Dr. Brightman. Eli was called back to Earth, taking over the body of Airman Tracy. Since her depression was the cause of her problems, they believed Eli would be the best suited to lift her spirits. Unable to get through to her, Eli tried revealing himself, but Marion would not accept his story. Even private details of their life would not sway her. She told him that without Eli there, there was no apparent hope of ever seeing him again. She simply didn't have a reason to keep going. At the behest of Camille Ray, who was in a similar situation, Marion was allowed to visit Destiny herself through the long-range communication device, allowing her to see Eli in his own body and see for herself the truth of his story. After being shown a new view of the solar system from the observation deck, Marion told Eli that she was proud of him and embraced him before returning to Earth. No longer depressed and back on her medication, she was released. At Eli's suggestion, Sharon Walker met with her, presumably so the two would have someone they could relate to. 2010 After coming up with a plan for the crew to enter stasis for three years, Eli switches with Airman Jeffries to say goodbye to his mother. Marion is excited to see him, and he explains the situation to her and apologizes to her for not being there for her anymore. Marion is happy for Eli as he gets to see wonders and encourages him.